Australia, the home of Big Rocks, Black Stumps and Chaz Wazzers. Austria, however, is the home of Freud, Mozart and Slow Motion. It would be a safe assumption to say that these countries don't have the most in common, yet they have one thing very much in common their names. How do two countries in different hemispheres end up having names so similar that even certain world leaders can get them mixed up? The name Austria is a Latinization of its native German name Österreich. This derives from the old High German word Osterichi, which means Eastern Realms due to Austria being East to Germany. The earliest recording of this name comes from the Osterichi document dated 1st of November 996. While this doesn't mean that the country of Austria is just over 1000 years old, it does mean that the name we all know it as in the English world laid its roots just over a thousand years ago. The area of land that covers Austria has had an interesting history, from belonging to the Celtics, the Romans and the Germans. However, I'm just here to explain the names and I'm nowhere near qualified to discuss the fascinating history of Austria. So let's go back to that old high German word for the Eastern realms, Osteresi. Of course modern German is different to old high German but some similarities are still there. East in modern German is Osten, which matches with the Os at the start of Osterashi, which of course became Osterreich, which in turn became Austria. As we all know, this name has led to some confusion. It's the very reason this video exists. And that's because of the similar sounds Austin has with another compass direction in another language, which brings us nicely to our next country. Notos is the Greek god of the southern wind. When this god came to the Romans, however, they came to call him in Latin by a different name, Oster. When the Greek wind system was adopted by the Romans, the name Oster became used for the south wind. This name evolved into the idea of Terra Australis. Terra Australis was the idea of a continent on the southern hemisphere of the earth and even appeared on maps between the 15th and 18th century. There was no clear evidence that Terra Australis actually existed, but people just presumed that if there was a huge amount of land in the north, then it must be balanced in the south. The actual name Australia has its earliest recordings from 1625 in A Note of Australia del Espirito Santo, written by Sir Richard Hacklight. This came from a corruption of Australia del Espirito Santo, which means in Spanish, Southern Land of the Holy Spirit, a name for an island in Vanuatu. Matthew Flinders popularised the name in 1814 when he circumnavigated the continent. The name subsequently was used in official reports and in 1824 the name was officially adopted. So there we have it, two countries with very similar names and rather similar origins, both related to compass directions but different directions in different languages, which however sound somewhat similar in the languages they're spoken. So why do Austria and Australia have such similar sounding names? A pure coincidence, albeit a coincidence revolving around the same subject. There's got to be a name for that. Why don't you guys tell me what it is down below? Or if that word doesn't exist, why don't you guys coin a word for it and tell me down below? I really enjoyed your ideas for Gangagoo last time.